if I get her in the office and we're filming, I have to make the most of her. So I've asked her to bring her five favourite be current beauty buys. Mainly skincare, but we've got a little sneak peek of some hair care. Where do you want to start? Um, let's start with let's start with Sally's. Yay! Sally Hughes. We're biased, yeah. obviously. We love 100%. her. It's very interesting that you've chosen the exact opposite product to me, and that's what's clever about Sally Hughes's range, which is for Revolution, and it's on revolution.co.uk and Superdrug, Super although it's selling out fast is it is literally like the white t-shirt little black dress of beauty so it's the basics that respect your barrier function that you can build a routine around mm -hmm. you've chosen that cleanser and, uh, why because i think she's been cl super clever because she oh you're stealing got... my cleanser oh yeah sorry because there are two types of cleansers and i like one and she likes the other yeah. and that's what's so clever about the range and you could obviously use both of them together but i really like a balm cleanser and so I naturally gravitate towards this one, as you'll see. I've already had my pores in that one. I've only, um, I think there's my eyelashes. <laughs> I was going to say, is it an eyelash or is it a pew? I can oh. only apologise, Sally Hughes. It, it didn't look like that originally. It's, it's an eyelash. My, because eyelash. I tell you why my eyelash is in it. Because like, it really takes off makeup yeah, as well. I can't be bothered with a cleanser that I have to get a makeup, um, you know, like oh, makeup. Right. Or, no, what are they called? Like makeup remover Pants. i need it to do it all in one I love that smell. it's amazing the smell is amazing it feels it's basically on par with any other luxury balm i've ever tried although this is like everything's under 15 quid in this range all vegan you just all vegan you just like scoop it up smush when you've just got like and i do quite like a bit of makeup as you know i don't think we knew that did we no, no. just like it chisels through very gently Put it all on. Like, I just like as well, just watching everything just melt sort away. of like melt off. Um, and then get a flannel or a muslin cloth or, you know, whatever you like to use. And then just wet it. Push it off. What? Done. Gorgeous. And I love this. So that one is... This is called Butter Clean Makeup Meltdown Cleansing Bar. so good with names. I know. Oh, my God. Placid. She I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. got an acid called Placid because it's a really super gentle blender. Pla the Placid acid. acid. So oh, yeah. clever. And I like Clean Sheet. Not be surprised to hear because it is a rinse off gel cream cleanser. And it's really lovely. I would say it was a slightly more moisturising, hydrating version of CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Actually nicer for drier skin types because Sally does have drier skin types. I love this. I team this with a microfiber cloth. It gets rid of all of my makeup, but then I don't wear quite as much as this one. No, I know. Maybe and should. I need all the help. She, yeah. she doesn't need it. I need it. But it is me. quite balmy. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. That's what's lovely about it. It's almost got, I tell you what it reminds me of. It's got a fresh soy cleanser. Yeah. It's quite oily, quite balmy. Feels quite Japanese though, doesn't it? And yes. And I think it's also got a hint of the Curel makeup melting cleanser about it. And I love it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. congratulations. I'm really proud of you. I think that range is amazing. There are five products at the moment. It's a really edited range. Five products under £15, all vegan, but there is a sixth one coming. And I've already said, I hope I'm not uh, ruining embargoes. It's a gel cream moisturiser and it's the dream. Yeah. I love it. And there's a product called Skin Drench. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God, that, that's me. Like, that's like written, from, that sort of, like anything that's to do with quench, drench. Anti-tired. Oh, my awake. God. Do you I'm love just that like stuff, that. Thirsty. Yeah, yeah, I'm thirsty. They, in America, you know that like the slang in the US and it is thirsty means that you're desperate to be famous. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, she's so thirsty. Thirsty for men's attention or thirsty for attention. Yeah. I mean, I'm thirsty for attention. Not getting as far as here. <laughs> Can I just say she's the least thirsty person in the world? We sat down today and realised we haven't filmed together for about six months, and I've been nagging her. That's how unthirsty she is. That's how satiated. No, what would it be? Yeah, satiated she is. What does that mean? The opposite of thirsty. Yeah, you starving. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Choose another one. Okay, talking of just segue into Japanese. So Tatcha is a Japanese skincare range. It's an American skincare brand from well, Japanese. From Jap but she's a, ja owner. She's she's Japanese, a Japanese American, American owner. Yeah. Um I used to buy the I so Beck. Surprise, surprise, she used to spend her hard earned money on products. I know. But this you could only get this like they had I think two Sephora. Or three, yeah, but they had two or three products that you could get on Netta Porter in this country, but they weren't the ones that I liked. So I used to get it. My absolute favorite product is this color, but it's called um, Skin, I think it's called Skin Moisture. It's this color. Skin Moisture Spray, that one. Spray on Skin Moisture. That's it, so yeah. Beck, you know Beck who I used yeah. to work with, she introduced me to it a couple of years ago, because it's been around quite a few years. Oh yeah. And um, 
you basically, it's a spray on, but it's not like spraying on a water spray or a hyaluronic acid spray. It is like spraying on moisturizer. Moisture. Mm -hmm. Again. Oh my it's God. The drenching. It's the Her quenching and the drenching and the dewy and all yeah. of that kind of stuff. I love, love, love it. But I ain't got but that is that one. coming over here? Yeah, that is, but it's not so it's coming all going into space in K. But not until June, right? Oh, yeah, no, I think it's in, I think it's in, in now. Oh, I don't know. But it's, I thought it was June, but because I tried to buy the skin quenchy genchi and it wasn't, it wasn't on there. That's not the technical name. Trust me, I shall find the proper name of this stick below. But this is the rice, this is like a, you know, like Dermalogica have that, daily micro exfoliant so originally rice powders are super fine exfoliants and the original one i always thought was the body shop right and then uh, dermalogica daily microfoliant i bet this one's purple but also you feel this one i feel like with the dermalogica one That's you don't same. feel it but wait 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 Go on. i need some moisture right let's just say let's just, use just a bit of this. steal a bit of really expensive because actually spot on the top. when you put water on it it emulsifies and goes white it doesn't just... Yeah, I got it. And then you get quite a little paste and then you can put it all over your face. Obviously, I haven't done... I need water, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's lovely and your skin just feels unbelievably... It, those rice exfoliants are the only physical exfoliants I recommend, especially they're really good if you get the retinol peels. They're really good. They're super gentle. Oh, they're really good as well because, you know, Violet, my daughter has got, like, this good peeling here yeah. from a product that she's been using... Just a little bit of this around Tiny there. Because it just brilliant. doesn't, but it doesn't aggravate it like a normal peel would aggravate it. And my famous favourite Tatcha current product, and I, I have to admit, I've been much remiss, I haven't tested a lot of them, oh, is the silk cream. And I love it for lots of reasons, not least of all because of this. Hold on, hold on. So the little thing goes through the top like that. I mean, the packaging is just sublimely <laughs> chic. Mm. And then this is a perfect gel cream moisturiser. It's gorgeous. It's I would like say one of the best, best sellers at Sephora. Very lightly fragranced, but very lightly fragranced. It's that onsen y type fragrance. It's beautiful. It? Yeah, it is gorgeous. And an onsen is a Japanese spa. Water based spa. spa. Yeah. And Everyone gorgeous. goes in there naked. I once went on a press trip. Uh, Leslie Thomas, are you listening? I'm going to tag you in this. Well, With a group of journalists that I had never met before in my life and people from, um, what's that amazing foundation range that's in Selfridges, Japanese range, and they have a Ganku massage, face massage. It'll come to me in a minute. XC, that one? No. Anyway, we went across there. Shiseido? I hardly knew anybody on the trip. And the first, second day we were there, they took us to a uh, onsen spa and you are naked. And the only thing you're given is this sort of muslin cloth that's about this big. <coughs> which you're supposed to wipe yourself down with well mine obviously went over my nether regions <laughs> leslie thomas uh wrapped her hair up in them <laughs> because uh, uh, she didn't want to get it humid hair <laughs> she's got textured hair and she didn't want it to get humid and to have to re-dry and blow dry it and stuff like that and we were laughing because we were basically saying what are you most embarrassed about i said i was hiding my big back side of my stretch marks and she said i'm not worried about any of that you can see the whole lot i just want to protect my hair but it's so weird. You'd, we'd know each other 48 hours and the next thing you know, we're naked in a hot tub together. Oh, I see, I wouldn't It's been a bonding moment. Every every time I see Leslie Thomas now, we, we you can see the PTSD triggering back to the fact that we've seen each other's pubes. <laughs> Love you, Leslie Thomas. <laughs> what, were you all showing through the muslin cloth? <laughs> I don't think there was a lot of them. That's what I was embarrassed about, to be perfectly frank. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an amazing experience because they just scrub you down and you bubble in all this amazing yeah, underwater mineral water. It's yeah, just amazing. It's like milky water, but isn't it? Also, you go a different way for the men and a different way for the women. And then you come out the other side sort of naked and you're all together. Oh, it's yeah. so different. It's so different to kind of English buttoned up spas. It's an amazing experience, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't, they would I drink sake in them as well. I know, but that's what, like, in Hungary they do. Because in yeah. Hungary they have those medicinal spas that smell like um, eggs. Yeah. Because of all the sulphur in the water that is natural springs or whatever. And you think you're in an all-girls place and then you go into a hot tub or a thing and then suddenly some local... So, and they're in. usually quite elderly yeah. as well because they go there because of their... Um, Arthritis. And you know, their joints and whatnot. Yeah, yeah and they're all, like, shedding skin in the water. <laughs> 
I call hot tubs human soups. I, I avoid them like the plague. I don't yes, like hot tubs. No, I think they make you... I, I also don't like baths, though. Do you like a bath? Not really. It's I don't. It's a human soup, but at least it's your own bits. You're yeah, but I just get too hot. I don't like being hot like that. Mm. I much prefer a sort of a cooler cool down. I don't my like... My favourite of all the spas, and I've been to spas all around the world, been very lucky for my work, I still love a Turkish hammam. I love a Middle Eastern hammer. Oh, Even yeah, where the guy, they, they hit you and they smash you down with like really rough cloth. Your skin is so soft afterwards. I love it. They have mm. that black soap. I love all that. Yeah, it's like we went to something similar in the, in Marrakesh. Yeah, really similar. Yeah. yeah. So I it's quite... a sort of Turkish, Middle Eastern, North Africa. Do you know what thing. you should get in your new place? Well, this is what I want in I'm our house. house. Go on. Uh, I want an infrared sauna. Okay, yeah, I can't be bothered with any of that. Oh, I can. Really? Yeah. I think uh, the older I get, the more... So that Saluma face that I've got... Yeah. That Saluma Maybe. thing that I've got has got an infrared light on it. And I've been using it on my back just because I've had really bad back. It's like really bad. And my granddad used to have an infrared light yeah. on his back. Like it's quite an old... Are you using something on your scalp, by the way? Some sort of LED light? Oh, uh, yeah. I've just got it. Do you think it works? I think it's really like it's really helping. I think it's helping with the shedding. The only reason I want, I was convinced by it. So many people, I saw it online and I put it on my stories. So many people who use it say this is it, amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. I saw some research coming out of America that said that it is promising. But I think with all LED lights, it's got to be the right amount of bulbs and the right wavelength to be powerful enough. Well, this is like a cap. I'll bring it next time. So, so the other thing it. she's invested in, right, is uh, she got talked into investing into a mm. very expensive LED light mask. But she says it, her skin is amazing. But it was, I mean, a lot of money. Yeah, it was a shitload. And... It was, but it's like one that goes all the way over. Yeah, you like basically this. lie under it. It's like a professional strength one. Yeah, and I know, like when I've finished. Have you tried putting it on your lower back? Yeah, that's what I've just. Oh, that's I what see. I just said. Oh, that is the infrared one, is it? <laughs> well, it's got three different oh, lights. So it's got I a blue see. light, and then it's got an infrared light, and then it's got a pain. Oh, for for pain, and so my Ivy hurt herself doing gymnastics. She twisted part of her. She didn't twist her ankle, but it was sore. Yeah. So we just wrapped it up and put it. It just helps with muscle recovery and stuff like that. But my skin, when I stop, when I have just finished using it, looks really glowy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a temporary glow. I'll I'm take sure it. It's a long term effect. Can I just say, look how gorgeous she's looking? Thank you, Dr. Alexis Granite, because oh she's had a whole God. host of skin boosters. I had skin booster. And I had Botox. Botox. And I had this eye injectable was it bright eye is that what it was i don't know it's like a peptide they inject under the eyes you look good anyway it you wouldn't believe that you've got a nine month old I baby am, it's not I am, it's still not sleeping through sleep. the night and i'm so sleep deprived yeah no, also uh, because of my back i haven't been able to yeah. sleep so it's been Even like with all the drugs the pain relief the pain relief has given me spots and bad stomach oh talking of which Talk about that. Oh. So when she took, she was taking a lot of painkillers for her back because she was in so much pain, she literally could hardly move. This was the only foundation that saved you. Yeah, this is amazing. It's called Oxygenetics. And actually, Alex Steiner recommended yeah. this to me years ago because it's been around quite a long time, Yeah, hasn't it? it's basically the one you find in clinic for post-treatment. Yes. So you can have it post-microneedling, post-laser, post-stuff like and that. And that's where I got it from, mm -hmm. the aesthetic, the clinic that I go to. And... They colour matched me, which was so good that I took the time to get colour matched because it was not the colour that I would have chosen. And also it's expensive, so you may have to make sure you're colour mm -hmm. matched in clinics. It's and not cheap. No. It's got an SPF in it as well. No. Oh, right. It okay. does last for ages, though. And you only need a tiny little bit. But what it doesn't do, it doesn't clog your pores. Yeah. You're not going to get spots. You know, because if you've got spots and you want to cover them up, because I've been there a lot, you don't want to cover cover them up with something that's going to clog them. No, it's oil free. Mineral makeup, I find, was just making my skin even more. I have a sneaky suspicion that is mineral, but in a sort of hydrating base. I'm glad you like it. I really like it, but I like it the most as well because I know that because it's the right colour. And it, I really thought mine was too different than it was. Like I would never have chosen that. And she colour matched it and was like, "Yeah, but look, it looks too orange to me." Oh no, that looks perfect to me. Yeah, no, it looks too orange to me. Yeah, it was expensive. I'm glad you just put a load of it on your hand. It is, it is super expensive. <laughs> I'm looking at it like being like that. That was about four quid. 
beautiful. It's really beautiful. <laughs> it is really lovely. Super hydrating, really nice. It's okay. a really good foundation. I'm going to take you back onto budgets. Had a Labo Premium Gold. Oh, is this new? Finally gone into Superdrug. So the five times hyaluronic acid, super hydrating, slightly glycerin rich range for older skin has gone into Superdrug. Um, I've shown you the serum before. I love the serum. But this is the Day Cream in Milk. Ooh. I mean, you'll not be surprised to see. I absolutely love a gel cream moisturiser. And it's beautiful. And it's really reasonably priced. I think it's $13.99. That'll be Excuse us me. in a couple Excuse of years. Me. Look at them. There's two old, two little old ladies old. walking by. By the way, we're filming in here. Would you mind, madam? I know, but that's probably a glimpse into our future, that. Give it six months, that'll be us. I'm we'll the one wearing the blue mat. Yeah, definitely. You're the one with the trolley. <laughs> and the stick. I love yeah, it. Yeah, the stick. <laughs> uh, they essentially are just loads of hyaluronic acid, loads of humectants, light emollients. Really, really beautiful. I just love the entire range and it's really reasonably priced. There yeah, you go. I bought that in. Mine is all super budgety. Yours is all super expensive. What are you going to mention next? Talk about your is clinical. She's fallen in love with his clinical skincare. Did you discover oh, that in, uh, in the salon as well? Yeah. I'd never used it before. And this again was when my skin was playing up. And then when your skin plays up, you feel like you just need to throw everything at it. But the thing to do is throw nothing at it or almost nothing at it, right? But you didn't. You just threw really expensive skincare and foundation at it. Yeah. Ideal. It worked. This is called the... Pro the thing is, when I was like, I haven't heard of this before. And I think if I haven't heard of it, then it's obviously rubbish. But then I got talked into, you know, into it being good. And then I Googled it and I was like, oh, right, yeah, I see that it's been around for quite a while and people the, seem to love it. They've got a resurfacing serum that is the strongest resurfacing serum I've ever really? used. Really? Yeah. Did it yeah. stink, tingle? Oh, God, yeah. It's too strong even for me. And really? I've got really tough skin, yeah. So this is... I call it is clinical. It might be IS clinical. Yeah. This and is the Pro Heal Serum. I tell you who uses it a lot. Shani Darnden and uh, Rosie Huntington Whiteley loves it. She yeah, she does. She Rosie Huntington Whiteley credits it with getting rid of her acne. It is So what's lovely. the Pro Heal Serum got in it? I don't know. So you were using it when your skin was playing up? Yeah. It's got, I actually, I do know because I did look it up. But it's, um, it's a Beverly Hills range. What does that mean? She comes from Beverly Hills, an American. There's, there's, I couldn't tell you what's in it. I'll have to Google it for you. But it's like antioxidants. And is it? Yeah. You're just using it as a hydrating serum. Yeah, so I just use it. So I cleanse. You're literally a beauty brand's dream come true, aren't you? Well, I am when it comes to anything that's sold in a clinic. I'm like, oh, that's got to be good. But also I like the fact that... You've obviously loved it because you've never I've used all of it, it yeah. yeah. And I'll buy it again. I really like it. And I just feel like it's just calmed everything down. Yeah, I wonder if it's really similar to... Uh, La Roche Posay Dermalogio, which is what I use, which is the dipeptide one. This is a lot. I've had this three months and I use it sometimes twice a day. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay. And I'm the cleanser is unbelievably good. It's, but it looks, it's the sort of cleanser that I don't like because it's like a jelly type yeah. cleanser. It looks like a bottle of shampoo. Love. Love. Yeah. But yeah. actually, and that gets rid of all makeup and everything, but I've run out of that now. But I really like that. That's brilliant. The two of them together are lush. Love those. Uh, Bioma has gone into boots, really reasonably priced. It's all about respecting your barrier function. It's got pre and probiotics in it. And this is my favourite product in the range. Oh, that's a nice. gel cleanser. You won't like it because it's a gel cleanser. Is it sticky? I love it. It's, um, it's not as rich and thick as Sally's. It's more lightweight and hydrating. Mm. But it's got ceramides in, pre and probiotics. Oh, there's a lot in there. And it's like 13 99 that's pretty good. It's a great one for your teens, that would be. Yeah. So that is the Bioma Creamy Jelly Cleanser. Love it. The entire range is really interesting, based around pre and probiotics and respecting your microbiome. Early research, let's be honest here, but at that price, you can't go wrong. Is it in? Is it a Boots brand? No, no, it's just gone into Boots. Oh, because I can see it's always near, it's always on a display. Like, yeah. you can't help but notice it because it's all different colours and stuff, yeah. isn't it? it's really colourful. What else have I got? Oh, I've got um, Versed. I really like this brand. This actually reminds me of Bioma. Really? Because that's cheap and that's really expensive. It's not that expensive. How much for an eye Mid cream? Mid-price? I never buy one thing at once. How the hell do I know? I've got like, there's no way Can't I'm going. Beauty shareholders, are you listening? Do you know what? The gel, um, the gel, the reason that I got into this is because Sally really likes the gel moisturiser. And the gel moisturiser is really good because it's very light, but you get lots of hydration. It's a bit like if you tried the Glossier one. Yes. It's really good, isn't it? It's okay. I think, but... It's a good for, um, I mean, there are much cheaper versions on the market. But I just like anything that's got a little bit of pigment in it. <laughs> Why? Because you think it's going to tackle it's gonna your do under eye circles? No, I actually use this all over. 
I know. I bought two of them and I use them all over. Can I just say, earlier so on, nice. in front of me, before filming, you applied the... Oh, my favourite of all time. The one that's discontinued. No. Oh. You applied the... What's the brand from Estee Lauder, the Estee Lauder group that was discontinued? Becca. The Becca under eye. Oh, yeah. And primer. Amazing. Oh, did you think you put that on? I saw, saw it put you on. It was incredible. Oh, it is lovely. But you know it's part of... It's gone to Smashbox, Smashbox yeah. now. Yeah. But, you know, you just feel like, even if it is exactly the same, you're just like, oh, it's not, though. But I've got two of them. They yeah. last forever, though. They do. They, they yeah. really last forever. I got it as part of Sally's box. Was it in the Cold Beauty box? Thing? Yeah, I think it was. It's one of her favourite of all time. So why have you chosen that? What's in that that you like? I've actually got quite a few of their products. Because it's light... It's, um, I feel like this one's quite brightening. They've got a clarifying serum as well that I used again when I wasn't trying to use this twice a day, but I used in the morning. The Qu I think they've got a product called Quench as well, or Drench. It's a gel cream moisturiser. I just bought it. I started using it on my eyes and I thought, oh, this feels nice. So then I put it all over. It's a light of pop. It's just, you know, your peptide stuff that you usually put on. A bit of, I think it's got a bit of caffeine in it as well, so it just sort of yeah. brightens Help, and um, microcirculation. Microcirculation. And then I've it's got a really nice brand. This brilliant bargain vitamin C serum. They're really hard to come by. It's nice, and I found this via my skin scan, my Proderm skin scan. It's just amazing. I can't believe number seven have hidden that light under their bushel. It's incredible. There's tons of it in if there. If you're looking, isn't there? If you're looking for uh, a much more budget-friendly version of, say, something like um, C.E. Ferulic. That's your budget version. It smells like Truth Serum by Ulla Henriksen. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. That's seven. really nice. Can I have that? Oh, uh, no. It's the only one I've got. So what? <laughs> Don't be tight. <laughs> I've got loads of kids. <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> have you got anything left? No, oh, I've got something. She's got an announcement to make. She has oh. no idea if she's breaking an embargo. She thinks not, but so check I this got... out. This is completely new technology. So this is, it's hair. It's so, off. It's fine. So these are like, it's hair by Sam McKnight. And they're not out until, June. God, next month? If you no, don't... end of next month. Okay, next end know. of May. If you don't know, nobody knows. No. And, but, um, she's so been working, I've been she's testing been working them. with Sam on this. And I've been testing, look, smell this. I've been testing them. Oh, they smell amazing. They're biodegradable and all of those things. They're wipes. Now, they are hair... They are... Lazy Girl Lazy Hair girl Cleansing Gloss. So it's a, basically a shampoo cloth, except that you and I never have dirty hair now. Well... But lots of people I know do. Do you know what, So right? if you've got sweaty post-gym hair, if you've got... You a fringe. You can't be bothered to wash it. If your fringe is a bit greasy, I smell mean... That. I know yeah, it's got, he's got really good taste. It's in got a very fine fragrance. The fragrance was made by Lynn Harris. If you're going to like festivals and stuff like yeah. that, you just basic. What it the difference? Like whereas dry shampoo sort of masks, it absorbs it and yeah. leaves the oil there. This it takes it off. Takes the oil yeah, off. Yeah, because it's the oil got and sebum and pollution and witch sweat hazel off. and that kind of stuff in it. Yeah. And it's also got the fragrance in it, and the fragrance lingers in your hair afterwards. That's amazing. And they're biodegradable wipes. So, so what are they actually going to be called, my darling? They're going to be called late unless they change it, which they might, because he does change things <laughs> sometimes. Does. They're going to be called Lazy Girl because there's also there's a Lazy Girl dry shampoo. Yeah, Lazy Girl. Dry, uh, lazy girl hair cleansing cloths. Okay. And this whole one will do your whole hair. Will do your whole hair. So you basically need to section your hair and just do your scalp with a little bit of back and forth motion. It's like so that. good for like my kids, like when they wash because they wash their hair every day. But when it's a hot day, they get sweaty around. The it's perfect for partings. Perfect for fringes. fringes. Perfect post gym. Perfect. You know, if you're just refreshing your hair before you go out for the evening. Armpits. <laughs> I mean, they do need a shave. Yeah. <laughs> but if you sign up to his newsletter... Oh, how do you do that? Tell me that. Oh, that's to if you want to... Um, how do you sign up to Because I'm supposed to be testing these, so then and I the click... Up. You just go on to sammcknight.com and then sign up to the newsletter and they'll let you know when they're launching. Okay. So, but we think it's going to be... It's going to be end of May. End of May, beginning That sort of, of time. They're Where will they good. be available? So, they'll be currently in... It was sammcknight.com. And Liberty. 
um, oh, the wipes, I think, are just sandwichnight.com. Oh, okay. So I think they're only making, I think they're doing like a drop of just a couple of thousand. Okay. They're really good. Yeah, they're brilliant. And they'll last you the whole amazing. summer. They do perfect for the summer. Perfect post beach, perfect, perfect post, post pool, anything like that. Well yeah. done, Sam. Yeah. Oh, and also, can I just say, coming soon, these are supposed to be short videos, went out at 27, six minutes. Can I just say, coming soon, there's uh, Joe, uh, Joe and I are going behind the scenes of Sam's studio, and we're going to have a beauty hags day out at Sam's studio, and we're going to get to try some of his wigs on from some of the Chanel shows. Oh my God, there was like, there's this amazing Lady Gaga wig that you've got to try. Yeah, she's got a little head right compared to you and I. Oh, they can make them bigger. Really? I oh, they've got plaits. I don't want to stretch Lazy Gaga's wig Lazy Gaga. <laughs> Lazy Gaga's wig out. What else are there? There's Chanel ones. There's every single wig that he's got there has been handmade and everyone has a story. Uh, and he does not want to put them on my massive great big bombs. Do you know, me. he also did this show. I can't remember what show it was. Maybe Fendi. I can't remember. Where they put feathers in the part yeah, of the hair. Looks so gorgeous, so clever. He's very talented. Yeah. He's also a little bit grumpy and very funny, which makes him an honorary beauty hag. <laughs> he is one of us, right? You can come sit with us. You can He's come like sit. that. I don't want to sit with you. I don't want to sit with you, two old hags. <laughs> uh, they are list all the products down below. So we've got, I've got one, two, three, four, and you've got no, five. that's yours as yeah. well. Yeah. One, so we're celebrating two, Tatcha, we're three, celebrating four. Sally Hughes, some high street skincare, and then her being a complete sucker for is clinical and oxygenetics in clinic. Yeah, love it. Funnily enough, our aesthetic clinic is uh, where I'm moving to, but more of that later on in the year. Yeah, you'll know. You suddenly see I <laughs> don't have a tiny little room and I've got a much bigger room to film in because I'm moving And out. you'll be like Benjamin Button. <laughs> you'll be basically camping out and then just going back, back. I back, found back. out that there's two really big aesthetic clinics just around the corner from my house. So if I suddenly turn up mop, looking like 15, you'll know why. God, I'll be right behind you. Yeah. I love it there. I love a good... I had a hydrofacial. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? They're so, so good. good. They're so good because they just... They're really good. They're good for... Like, no they, mess, no fuss, deep cleaning. Which what Did you partner with a skincare brand? Which one did you do? I had the SkinCeuticals one. No, I had the IS... Clinicals clinical one. one yeah. And I also, on my legs, I had those trouser things. Yeah. Which basically just give you lymphatic, lymphatic drainage, drainage here. Yeah. And I'd just been on a flight, or well, not that long ago, so I felt quite... I've got, since I had the baby, it's so weird. They never did this when I had my first two kids, but they do it. I don't know if it's now just because I'm in my 40s, so I got a bit more... Um, but I had to give myself um, injections every day for like two weeks afterwards. Um, here? For what? For um, like deep vein, vein thrombosis. Deep so, day. And I never ever had that before. And obviously they'd run out of them or something. And so I had to go the next day to pick them up and I never did. So I never did the injection. I think I did about three of them. But then my right foot got really puffy. Just my right foot. It looked like someone had sort of put a bicycle pump mm -hmm. and then just puffed up my foot so I started wearing you know I wore compression socks and then it was fine after a couple of days it had gone but when I went on a flight it's came back that it's just that one foot yeah so now so I, those uh lymphatic drainage boots are brilliant when amazing you're your but it goes around your tummy yeah, as well it's everywhere yeah right up to your waist really oh my high. god it just felt like all of the growth like everything was just getting moved around put back in its right place yeah. all of the crap all the lymph was getting moved around. Yeah, it's really I felt about half a stone lighter when I come out of there. So, so I had a McDonald's <laughs> and a Magnum. <laughs> I'll put all the details of the water products down below. But she's back, ladies and gentlemen. Love you. Love you. Bye.